All right, on the bench today, we have the Vizio Eagle 4K night vision binoculars. These were sent to me for review, but everything I say in this video is my own opinion. And my opinion is this is some really nice packaging that this comes in. I've already had this out and used it and I've shot some footage, but I wanted to show an unboxing of it because this packaging is just awesome. I'm looking at about 10 inches by eight inches by four inches, sturdy packaging. So pull this lid off here. Inside the package, you're going to get a couple of award things that they got. Nice envelope here that has your instructions and a little cheat sheet inside of there. And the instructions are super nice. Full color, all kinds of stuff going on in here. Shows you all the stuff. A really nice case that it comes in and a really decent padded shoulder strap. The padded part itself is about 25 inches long and with the straps you're looking at probably at least three foot long. Dual zipper case. And inside of here, we've got the night vision goggles themselves. We have a zippered pouch, little bag in here. Inside the bag, you get all kinds of stuff. You get a 32 gig SD card, which I've already inserted into here. And I did format it, though I'm not sure I really needed to. A little screen cleaning cloth. We have a USB to Type-C charging cable because this is a rechargeable device with a decent sized 5,000 milliamp lithium ion battery in it. I've not ran the battery all the way out in one sitting, but according to the company, you can get up to 10 hours of continuous use with the IR on and up to 16 hours without it. And that's pretty good. And the unit itself has an IP54 waterproof rating. And I'm going to show you some of the footage I captured and some of the pics I took on here. But first, let's go over the unit here. The screen appears to be about four inches long. Nice padded place where you can put your eyes right up to it if you want. It's padded and we get a little cutout for the nose right here. Looking at it on the front, we have a focus knob and there's plenty of play in this focus knob. It goes pretty far out and pretty far in. We have the infrared lens right here. And also on the top here, we have a flashlight that can turn off and on right here with this button. And it also has a strobe feature on it. We have a control panel on the top here, and with the control panel, they've given us this really nice cheat sheet here that tells you everything you want to know about it. We've got some grip textures on the side here, so it's easy to hold on to. On the bottom, there's a tripod mount and four padded feet. On the side here, you can see that you insert your 32 gig card that they provide for you right into the side right here. You just push it in, it's spring-loaded, and the USB charging point is right here. And there actually is a reset button. If for whatever reason you wanted to reset this back to factory defaults, you can do that right here. You can use this in daytime or nighttime. It has an eight time zoom on it. You got zoom in right here and zoom out. You can take pictures up to 40 megapixels and capture video up to 4K right on the device itself onto that 32 gig card. This button right here is the tactical flashlight. Right here, this button on the top is for the backlight if you want to turn that off or on. This is the power button, obviously. This is the IR button right here. It has a starlight level sensor on it in dual night vision mode, so you can get clear visuals even when it's pitch blackout. This is the menu button. This is the OK button when you're going through the menu. So there you go. You can see I got them on a tripod here. Night vision goggles like these would be great for security, hunting, obviously, any type of nighttime wildlife watching, bird watching, you know, stuff like that. Fishing, camping, hiking. Farmers could use them. All kinds of stuff. Very nice.